All right, I'm gonna continue on with a little bit more space bugs before we call it a day. So we've left off. We have uh, a small little, small few routes here going on. I'm gonna want to expand outwards. We need some more planetoids to land on. And hey, all right. Uh, what I might want to do. All right, thank you, game. It's gonna do that a lot early on. Oh, come on, I'm trying to... There we go. Uh, first off, let's uh, let's change a few things around real quick. Let's uh, let's change our pricing up a little bit. Computer will almost always bump the pricing up a little bit. For now, we're going to bump up to 110% of normal. I'm going to get attacked by a cat again. Which is commonplace in this house. Alright, let's see what else. Maintenance, I kind of want to bump maintenance up just a little bit. Let's bump it up 5%. Because uh, maintenance, make sure your uh, your starports and your ships are running at uh, full efficiency. And it'll, it'll prevent uh, the occasional accident pop-up that screws up your either your ship or your... It, it essentially just costs you more money. Um, let's see, what else do I want to do? Nothing. Nothing too much. We do have, let's see. Yes, thank you. But let's get, let's check and see how far that is. It's kind of a far route. Yeah. That's 28. No. 30. No, 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 not that. We need to check and see what our ships can do range-wise. I think that is... Yeah. Just 2.8. That's really up to the engine itself, so... Not really the ship's fault that it can't travel very far, but... Uh, we're not we're not doing too bad. We're not top, but we're not bottom. Bottom is, is usually the bet worst place to be in this game. Two point eight. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's go with this Exodus here. It's not bad. It's not a terribly expensive place. It'll only be seven fifty once we negotiate it. <laughs> negotiation negotiate it down to the lower price range. And we'll add that to this particular route. And we'll just make this little three-way route here. Or rather, it'll go one, one, two, three, four, five, and then back. It'll be a six, it'll be a six planet route, but uh, it'll just be right through here. Northern Lights particle field generator hey. operates by surrounding the host ship with a field of super dense shield upgrade has been developed. And the guy will continue to talk about it even after I've closed the window. Oh, you know what? I did want to change the turn the music back on. Turn the music back on. We'll chill out with our space groove. Alright, so we've got the planet Exodus now. Okay, and Do Rosen development level, so let's alter that route a little bit. Uh, that's the wrong ship, so exit out. We'll have to change to Junkman 1. There we go. Oh no, no, no. Sorry, we need to. Let's go ahead and clear the whole route. What we'll do is turn this off. Alright, we'll go from... We'll start at Beckerel. Or Barnard, sorry. Doe. And that will be the route. It'll be a bit of a long route. But it should net us some cash. 
once we get everything set up. Alright. There's two different sets of music. I figured I'd try this one out because I think it's the better of the two. And it's not bad. It's just some background music, some chillin' space trading music, I guess. Alright, so Exodus. And then back to Doe. Which is a deer. A female deer. Ooh. Now that audio issue's popping up and makes me wish I'd turn the sound back off again. Alright, uh, Vector, uh, but remember, always remember, people and food over fuel, and we're gonna wait on the Vector out, because the Vector leg is a pretty profitable leg. Alright, all our things are set, and we'll accept the route. Thank you, nuisance lawsuit. Essentially, there's little random news things that'll pop up that'll essentially, it'll be a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, you'll lose money, you'll gain money, or you'll get a ship, or lose a ship. You know, it's just random events that happen. And some of them are just kind of ridiculous. So you can see Junkman's moving along, making a decent profit here. So we've got Junkman going, not too bad. Planet Express ship is doing its thing. Still making its cash. Let's check out the fleet. And Junkman 1 is making a decent profit. Oh. Alright, you know what? I tried it. I'll have to I'll have to mess around with the sound settings to Maybe not, alright. I'll have to see if I can't iron it out. It's usually a driver's issue, and I remember having that back in ye ancient times of 95. Alright, so not a bad little uh, development we've got. We're making profits. We need to keep making more, though. Let's push... Um... This little primitive here should be pretty cheap. I think I might get these three here and make a small route out of it. Again, like I said, I usually... I tend to aim towards these lower development because early game, they're cheaper and you can develop them up into uh, better planets. And you'll notice that you'll still keep the price range. Like, I, I negotiated this for a cheaper range to begin with, and it developed up to a 2. So now it is at that lower range. Alright, now let's go. Yeah, let's go with this route here. We'll bid up. We'll bid up some of these these cheapo. And you can sell like I said, the the lower the DL, the quicker you'll actually get them the bids completed. Just like that. We're gonna, of course, need another ship, because we've only got the two. And nothing wrong with adding some extra ships to your fleet. In fact, it's usually a pretty good thing. Hey, Bernard has gone up on development level. You see, as, as you can tell, we're already behind in the fleet developments. But, you know what, we're gonna... 
We're gonna build one right now. We're gonna build another sparrow. Of course. Oops. We're gonna. It's one of those things sometimes you'll build a ship to make a new route, and then all of a sudden there'll be a new engine development. And you're like, well, damn it, why did I build that? Alright, so we're gonna make this little route here. Now, the the only real expense comes from this startup fee to build out new routes. It is a big chunk, that's almost a ship's worth of cash. Uh, ship, ship early on, that is. That's a decent chunk of cash that you're putting into just starting out. So, that's kind of the only real startup problem. Alright. With creating routes. But other than that, once you've got the route started, you can usually, you know, fiddle with it enough to get uh, a profit out of them. Alright, so let's go from... From Bernard out to Nunki. That should be good. It won't be a terribly profitable one right off the bat. Oh, you know what? I should have left that there because this planet does indeed have two ore. No. Alright, whatever. That works. I'm going to have it stop and fill it, but. Barnard, because they have the most stuff at the moment. These other guys are going to have pretty meager pickings compared to the the other ones. Hmm. Guitar, Vega. Both at the same time? Yeah, sure do. Alright. I'm changing it just so I can get the little yellow mark there, and it'll tell me that it's been changed. Alright, and that should be good. We'll accept this route and see how well it does. Hey, alright. We're doing okay. Not a bad haul. Eh, it's not very good, but like I said, some of these, especially the ones that don't have a lot to send, are gonna not be very profitable. And fuel is kind of a... not really the resource that you'd like to, to be sending around. Uh, they will give you these options to put in bids on places that are real close to you. Uh, this particular one is right there next to one of my planets, so it'll pop up and tell me, hey, somebody's trying to build there. I'm not particularly concerned right this second, because I'm not really going to move up this direction too much farther. You can kind of see the way the computer puts out the routes. They just make these little two and three route chains. They don't really make too many big ones. So right now, I think we're good. We'll leave him, leave him be with it. There's some kind of... There's a little bit of cheating, I guess, as far as the game goes. Uh, to get those planets back out from underneath other uh, owners. There's actions you can take, essentially. But uh, we won't be messing with those until much later in the game when... When we've got a plan of attack developed. Alright, so far we're kicking along with an alright profit. We're not we're not gangbusters here, but we're uh, definitely still making some cash.
great. Uh, I'm sure that's like right over here. Yeah. Man, what is this? Yeah, of course. Of course something should pop up. Oh, it's right there in the middle. Alright, well. Nothing we want to get ourselves invested in too much right at the moment. Alright. Advanced. Uh, the problem with advanced, let's say if I put a bit on it, they're going to want you to build something there. And building things is expensive. It's a, that's a $50,000 cost. I mean, it's a one-time cost, but it's still a $50,000 cost. On top of the 30000 almost 30000 you're putting in to get the rights to the planet to begin with, so... I mean, don't get me wrong, it, it has a lot of stuff to ship off. And you could technically make some of this stuff into other stuff. I'll get into that next time around. Okay, now that's a good thing, because, alright, so now what we need to do, is we need to, and so let's modify our ships, we're gonna need to put those engines, ugh, we're gonna need to put those engines into place, because the faster our ships go, the better. Alright, so we need to advance, let's modify this ship. Let's try it again on a different, maybe that was the same one. No, that was... I wish you could change your ships from here, but they won't let you. And let's alter the Planet Express ship while I'm here. That's a little bit of an extra cost, but now our ships should be moving faster, and that means they should be moving our goods around faster, which means more profit for us. Uh, it is very important to upgrade your ship's engines, because as you can see, you're going to be netting more of those routes and get your money back before uh, the, the quarterly costs come in. Essentially, it'll make all your routes more profitable. Now, the only thing you have to worry about is that you if these things get faster. You might have to worry about the fact that... Oh, no, not that. You might have to worry about your routes becoming less profitable because of ship overlaps. Especially if you have a bunch of them going to the same places. Like here. Well, these, these particular ones, like I said, aren't really shipping a lot just yet, so... I'm not too terribly concerned about them, but Nunky has gone up a progress level uh, again. I oh, know just now, so it has some more stuff to ship now. And I'll edit that. I'll alter those routes a little bit, but we'll call it good for now. We're we're making some solid profit, so we'll continue to expand next time around. Let me save it. Just, uh, come on. Come on, emulator window. Oh. Okay. Blah, 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 Sound effects. Uh. Uh. Let's... Thanks. <laughs> I can't... I can't close out the LP without something going wrong. Alright. Oh, let's pause it. Let us pause it there. Uh, next time around... We'll uh, iron out some more things, and we'll develop our our wonderful company out further into a choking multi-conglomerate device of profit. <laughs> Until then, folks, have a good one.